There we go. That's it. That's the box. On the side of the box, it tells you the dimensions. Yeah, I'll show you with a mouse next to it. Tells us that it's got RGB light and low friction, you know, but it's ten dollars. So let's not get us hopes up. Get our hopes up, that is. Uh brand new, you can tell by the little tags right here. And this table I'm unboxing on is not centered up. If you watch it move. It needs a book put under one of the legs. And I never claimed to be the best unboxer. So, that's that. Ew. Okay. Adhesion on this is great. Ugh. But we got it. So the packaging inside is basically just a mouse pad. We got a thank you thing. We got this instructions. Uh okay, this is it came in mouse. Warning changes or modifications to this unit. Not especially approved by the party responsible could void. Note the equipment has been tested and found to comply with the limits of Class B digital device. These limits are designed to provide reasonable FCC rules. Yada yada, you have the no guarantee that interference will occur in a particular installation. Or radio or television reception. Okay. Obstruy. This could cause interference. I don't see how if it's straight wired up unless it's wireless with Bluetooth or something. Uh, the mouse pad quality. It feels kind of like a velvet. Wow, this is bigger than I thought it would be. Takes up half the table. Let me get back here so you guys can see. See, that's what I'm talking about putting a book. But, yeah. That, that's pretty big. Uh, it's a type, what's that? No, it's just a mini USB, not a type C. So, mini USB to full USB should be. Why would it have any feelings? If it ain't wireless. Does it got like charging or something to it? I think it do. Mini USB to full USB. It has an on and off switch, and that's basically it. Look over my cable management. It's not the best at the moment underneath the table. So this is the mouse pad. It can hold one full keyboard and two mice. Yeah, I got several computers hooked up. This is pretty much my uh, testing table, kind of like a workbench table. And uh, that's how come I always have so many mice and stuff around. But for 10 bucks, it does got RGB. It hooks up... Uh, to the USB, as we've seen before, and it can cycle through the colors, which is kind of cool. I would like to have like a pulse of color change, kind of like I got going on in these two mice, but I don't think we have it. But as you can see, it looks extremely good. Uh, RGB always does. Uh, this mouse over here is a budget mouse, and this is an MSI. If you watch any of my videos, you would not know that. But what I'm saying is, it's ten dollars, guys. This mouse pad is ten dollars. Uh, the mouse is extremely. Uh, how can I explain it? They move very good on this mouse pad, so I'm very happy with it. I mean, I don't see how you cannot be for ten bucks. It looks extremely good. I need to. Well, my cable deal for it because you know I got all this cable management here but I want to just demonstrate for you guys and show you what it looks like there ain't much I can say uh it seems it would hold up very good if you take care of stuff you type person who uh don't like set heavy things on stuff and you take care of your desk space this mouse pad should do you it has a uh, 
well over the ten dollar quality you would expect. I mean, it, it's kind of like a thirty dollar mouse pad. They did a great job. Let's give them a hand clap and a comment below. If you enjoy this mouse pad, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you got one of these. If not, pick one up. Let me know how it goes and uh, let me know what you think about it. So, thank you for watching. Get subscribed if you're new. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.